Uh, my name is Laura Ellis, and I'm Associate Director and Professor in the School of Music. I started in August of 2003, so I'm getting close to a 20-year anniversary. Getting close, not quite there, but close. My primary classes are teaching applied organ lessons and applied carillon lessons. Well, so organ goes way back to being in middle school, actually. So the church I attended um, when I grew up in Minnesota had a really nice pipe organ in the back. And they had a piano competition, and the winner of the piano competition got a free year of organ lessons. And I had taken piano lessons since I was a little kid, and I was in the choir at church kind of thing, and I heard the organ, and that's kind of how I started. And I think I must have been in eighth or ninth grade. Carillon interest didn't come until much later because I didn't have a carillon near me growing up. So I went to the University of Kansas, and, which has a really nice carillon. Uh, somebody, and I don't even remember who it was, said, you know, that carillon teacher is like one of the best in the country. So that's when I sort of got interested. I figure if he's like a really good teacher, it would be silly for me not to take advantage of it. Uh, you, you don't find big pipe organs all over the place. You don't find big carillons all over the place. Um, but we have, we're very fortunate to have them here in Florida. And what I hope is that, you know, they may or may not have it um, as part of their job sometime. And if it isn't, maybe they'll be in a position to um, help, you know, a, a gardens get a carol on and they'll know something about it. Maybe they'll be on a committee that helps decide where they're gonna put an organ in a symphony hall or a church, and they'll just have more knowledge about what to do and what things to consider. And, and, you know, um, to, to keep the tradition alive in both instruments. That's what I hope that they'll do, because I won't be here forever, but hopefully they'll be around for a long time and they can get the desire and excitement about it to future generations.